Welcome back. In the last video, Tori talked to us about the story of the three sisters. And today we're gonna build on that story by talking about some common plant parts that those three plants, the, the corn, the squash, and the beans that they all had uh, in the three sisters. And a little bit how those parts are important for plants creating their own food. Um, you and me, I run to the kitchen to go make a PB&J to eat my own food. Plants do it a little bit different. So we're gonna dive into that concept. Um, if we look here, here's kind of my example plant. It's a broccoli plant. It's already been harvested, the part that we normally eat. And from looking at it, we can kind of divide it into two parts. So number one, the, the half that we can actually see. This is called the shoot system. So it's the upper part and it is very important because it has two important parts that we, I can just see right here in point two. First of all, it has leaves and it has the stems. So those are two major parts of a plant that make up the shoot system. And they um, are above ground, so they have access to the sunlight, they have access to the air, and those are very important for plants making their own food. If we dive into the second part of a plant, which is called the root system, so above we have the shoots, and below we have the roots. So if I just pull up this plant, we have our roots here. And you can see they're intertwined with the soil. As I feel them, they're a little bit more damp and cool. In our next video, Tori is going to talk to us about roots and the importance that they have with water and creating our own food. But for now, for the rest of this video, we're gonna focus in on the leaves and the stems. So the first plant part we're gonna look into today is the leaves. So you're probably very familiar with leaves already. Um, in the fall time, we rake up leaves to go jump into piles of them. We throw them at our cousins because they annoy us. We, we eat leaves all the time. Like if your mom makes you eat the salad, there's kale, lettuce. Um, sometimes there's things called arugula or spinach, uh, Popeye and spinach. The leaves are very common to probably what you already know. And we can even see in this garden, there's there's a leaf right here. There's a leaf right here. But leaves don't exist in the garden or on plants just for decoration. They're very, very important to creating the food for the plant. Leaves can be thought of as the food makers or like the chefs. Think of going to a restaurant. You order, you get there, um, and somebody behind the scenes is making your food for you. Well, a plant does all of that in-house. They're the food makers for the plant, and we're gonna explore a little bit of, about how they do that. Since leaves are a part of the shoot system, they're above ground. So meaning they come into access with sunlight and the air all around it. So what leaves will do as the food makers, they will absorb sunlight and absorb air, specifically carbon dioxide, CO2, and they will combine that with a little bit of water from the roots to create their own food. This is a process called photosynthesis. So I know photosynthesis might sound like a really scary word, but if we break it down, it's really easy to understand. Photo means light and synthesis means to make. So it's just making something from light. So once again, leaves are taking in sunlight and air through a process called photosynthesis to make their own food. And leaves will produce the food for the entire part of the plant. This is what makes plants so interesting and so important for all life because they're able to generate their own food. So a quick recap, leaves make their own food from sunlight and air combined with a little bit of water. Moving on to our second plant part is stems. So if I pull my plant up and kind of take off some leaves here, I can kind of expose the stem a little bit more for you guys. So you can see that this part right here is the stem. And we interact with stems, but not might not really know it. Like um, eating asparagus, those are stems. Um, celery, so celery I think is totally gross. I have to put a ton of peanut butter on top to eat it, but it's still stem and it's important. Uh, that's, that's one of the plant parts that we normally eat. So besides eating those plant stems, stems have a really important uh, process in our shoot system. So unlike leaves, they don't, they do not absorb sunlight and air, but they hold up 
the plant so that way the leaves have access to the sunlight. So imagine if there was no stem and it was broken and laying down, it wouldn't be able to capture the sun. It's kind of like uh, when you stand with your shoulders back and up straight and bask in the sunlight. That's what stems help leaves do. So that's the number one part of what a stem does. It helps support the plant. Number two, stems act as like highways for the plant to transport all the food that the leaves make and the water that comes from the roots. So those highways go up and down the entire stem and throughout the leaves. So if we go back to our example of I'm at a restaurant and I ordered food. Well, the chef or the leaf is making the food, but the waiter or the stem is get it, giving it to us. It takes it from the kitchen to our plate. So the stem will take the food from in the leaf and transport it throughout the entire plant. Um, and it will also bring water from the roots back up to the leaves so that way it can engage in photosynthesis. So quick recap, leaves are the food makers while stems are the food transporters in our shoot system. So let's do a quick question review. I'm gonna ask some questions and just respond and see if you get it right. Question number one, what is the top part of the plant called? The one that sits above the soil. If you get guess shoot system, you're totally correct. Now, if we think about that shoot system, which one of, of our plant parts is the food transporter in the system? Correct, stems are the food transporter and they take um, food from what plant part? Correct, leaves, since they're the food maker, the stem takes the food from them and transport it throughout the entire plant. This is a reminder why plants are so important because they're able to make their own food with sunlight and air. Now that we know some plant parts, let's test our knowledge on our worksheet. In the attached worksheet, you'll see it follows along with the video. In the first question, you'll need to label uh, each area arrow excuse me, with the plant part that's listed on the worksheet. In the second question, as we move down, uh, draw an arrow from the pictures that are on the right-hand side of the worksheet to the part of the plant that absorbs that picture. So all you have to do is draw a line with an arrow. And the last question at the very bottom, go ahead and list some of the foods that we eat that are either leaves or stems. I talked about them today in the video, um, but maybe come up with some own examples that you and your family commonly eat. Please feel free to go back and rewatch certain parts of the video to help you answer the worksheet. So that way you can show us, hey, I learned from this video. <laughs>